You may have heard Dubsado now has two different pricing options, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ray. I'm the creator of Productive Co. I help service-based business owners with their systems and automation. I'm also a certified Dubsado specialist, and I've been using the platform almost since the very beginning. Now, for the longest time, they only had one option. If you had a subscription to Dubsado, you got access to all of the features. However, they just recently created a pricing tier. So there's now two different pricing plans you can choose from, and the start the starter plan has more limited features than the premier plan, which has all of the features. In today's video, I'm first going to go through the differences between both plans, and then I'm going to help you decide which one is right for you. So let's pop on over into Dubsado so I can show you the difference between the two plans. So if you go to dubsado.com slash pricing, you'll be able to see the differences between both packages. On the lower plan, the starter plan, you can purchase it for $200 a year on the annual plan or $20 a month. Now the premier plan is $400 a year or $40 per month. And here you'll see a quick summary of the difference between the two, but if you scroll down further on the page, you'll be able to see a more detailed breakdown of the differences between both plans. So both plans have integration with your email account, you get unlimited clients and projects, you get access to unlimited invoicing and payment plans, you get access to uh, unlimited forms and email templates, client portals, and there's bookkeeping integration with QuickBooks or Xero. Now, after that, that's where things start to um, become different. So the starter plan gives you access to one lead capture. A lead capture is a contact form you can put on your website. Um, this might not be too much of an issue for you. Um, you can have all of your clients go through the same lead capture, but if you are really set on having your clients go through two different contact forms, depending on what service they're looking at, um, you would need to upgrade to the premiered plan. Another difference is the calendar integration. So on the Premier plan, you can integrate with your Google Calendar or with another type of calendar. And you can connect multiple calendars within that. So for example, I have about four different Google Calendars that are connected to Dubsado. However, if you use the starter plan, you'll only be able to connect one calendar. So that would be one Google Calendar or one Apple Calendar. You also will not get access to the scheduler, automated workflows, which are just automation, uh, steps of automation, or public proposals. Now, a proposal is your formal offer to work with somebody. So that's where they can accept your offer. Um, also, they can sign a contract and pay the invoice in one step. A public proposal is when you put that offer on your website publicly for all to see. So this would prevent um, clients from having to do multiple steps. Instead of having to first contact you, then book a call with you, and then give them the offer, you have the option to just put your formal offers on your website where they can just purchase and check out right from there. Um, you won't get access to that on the starter plan. And then the last difference is the starter plan does not have a Zapier integration. So Zapier is a tool that allows you to integrate two software that don't have an integration. So if you wanted to integrate two tools that don't have a native integration, Zapier is the tool that connects the two and acts like the glue. Okay, now let's pop on over into my demo account so we can talk a little bit more about workflows. So on the starter plan, you will not get access to workflow automation. However, you will still have access to a little bit of automation that I'm going to explain in a second. First, I want to explain what workflow automation is. So a workflow is a series of steps that you take in order to complete a task or a bunch of tasks. Now, a workflow automation is when you automate those steps. So you would have multiple steps in your process automated. You will not get access to workflow automation on the starter plan. However, the way that Dubsado works is you have a bunch of different templates. And some of those templates have a little bit of automation built into them that you will still have access to even if you don't use 
workflow automations. So the two areas that you'll still have some automation are going to be forms and invoices. Let's start by looking at forms. I'm going to go to templates and then forms and then pick any one of my forms here on this page. Inside of forms, you can go to the settings area and you can add a due date to a form. This way your clients know that there is a set date that they have to complete the form by. Once you set a due date, you can then add form reminders. These are emails that will go out to your client to remind them that, that they have an incomplete form. So here I've added three reminders to this form. So clients will still receive these automated reminders if you put them on the form, even if you are on the starter plan. The other area that you'll still have some automation built in is on invoices. And this is going to be found under templates and then payment plans. Now a payment plan gives a due date or several due dates to one invoice. So in this example here, my payment plan breaks an invoice down into three different installments. And you can add reminders to go out for each installment. That way your client gets notified to pay. So these reminders, like form reminders, are emails that go out to your clients reminding them to pay. Now in this uh, example here, the first installment only has one reminder, but I've put three reminders on the other two installments. And once they pay that installment, they'll stop getting the reminders. Um, but you're able to take advantage of these payment reminders and these form reminders, even if you're on the starter plan. So that might be enough automation for you. But the one thing I really want to caution you about on the starter plan is that when a client fills out the contact form on your website, also known as the lead capture, you won't be able to automate an email confirming that you received it. Now, you can still have a thank you page pop up and say that you received their inquiry, but you won't be able to have a workflow shoot them an email confirming that you've received their inquiry. You'll have to manually send them an email the next day when you get back to work and so on. So those are some things to think about when you're choosing between both plans. But remember, you can always go with the starter plan and then upgrade to the premier plan if you're finding it's not enough for you. And if you would like to take advantage of my affiliate coupon code, you can enter Productive Co at checkout to save an additional 30% off your first payment, whether that's the annual payment or the monthly payment. Now, if you are completely new to Dubsado and you need help navigating the interface, I have another video on that that I'll link to above this one. Now, if you need further help with Dubsado, I do have several resources available on my website, both free and paid that you can take advantage of. So I'll put those in the link down below this video. If you learned something from this video or if you enjoyed it, I would really love if you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care now.